Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Jocelyn or Jossie for short. And if you are new here, welcome. Today I'm gonna be going through just kind of an introduction video uh, for beginners that are interested in the binder or ring planning system. Um, I first got interested with this kind of planning system about two years ago. Um, I've always loved planning and I always would buy new planners and so I noticed that I was buying a lot of planners and none of them really were fitting any of my needs. So I turned to a ring bound binder system, which is basically where um, it has rings that open and close and you can add and take out inserts as you please. And so today I'm going to be showing you with my original file of facts in the color um, stone gray and this is a personal size and then I also have the cloth and paper uh, that came with the subscription box for December of 2020 and it's just in a clear uh, plastic A5 size so I'm going to be talking about why I made the switch and what I really enjoy about the ring planning system and also I wanted to give you guys some ideas on size comparisons and then as well as um, ideas of where to buy uh, the the agendas the binders so first off one of the reasons why I made this switch was because I felt like I was stuck with uh, spreads weekly spreads that I didn't love or that didn't always work for me for example sometimes I really liked having the hourly weekly spread and then sometimes I wanted just like a daily spread and sometimes I just wanted like a week at a glance. And so I, what I really love is that I can basically um, find and print any kind of spreads that I like. Another thing that I found myself doing um, was I was buying new planners because I was constantly getting bored of the covers on my planners. I couldn't find myself committing to even just like a full year um, to planners. So like I said, I have this one in personal size and this is Filofax and I have two Kiki K binders um, that I like to switch off of. So this is, they are all in the same size. These, just because they're a different brand, they're, they're designed a little differently. So they do look different. Um, but they're all genuinely the set, the same size and I can put any inserts from here. I can basically move them to either of these agendas so I can change um, the covers based on my mood or like the season. This one I was using it more for like spring and summer and the gray and black I can use for winter. So you can switch between all the different covers and basically start to like collect and you never have to actually like change the contents of your agenda you can just keep moving it which I absolutely love and so because um, this pl planning system is so customizable that is one of the big reasons why I drew so close to it um, for example, you can basically label all your dividers any way that you like. So I'll just show you what I have. I have um, calendar, meetings to do, a follow-up section, planning, which is just like my to-do list, to-buy list, um, and other like plan ahead things, expenses, and then personal where I keep like my gratitude and just like any kind of health information I usually keep here. And then I've also have on top, I have three dividers, which are monthly goals and meals and notes. And then this is just this um, one right here that says Filofax. That is just the one that I keep for my uh, weekly inserts. So I'm able to customize the tabs as often as I'd like. And if you feel like um, a January through December, you know, style agenda works better for you. That is also totally doable. I keep all my calendars 
my monthly calendars in my calendar section. And then I keep my weekly spreads in my to-do section. So that's how I like to organize it. I put all the monthly spreads in one tab, but you can definitely do whatever you feel like works best for you. So now that I've kind of went over just how I customize my ring binder system, I did want to show you guys some size comparisons. So again, this is, and I'll zoom it up a little, this is the personal size, and this I'm using the Filofax, and then this is the A5 size. So side by side, you can see that there is a difference um, in the page size and then in the width also. And so just for further um, visual, here is a personal size paper. And here is an A5 size paper. And then we have a pocket, which I don't own a pocket ring binder. So I'm just showing you what the paper size would be. Um, but you can get an idea depending on what you feel like will work for you. So a lot of people like the A5 size because it's more of like the size of a traditional agenda, like one that you would buy already pre-made. So it's probably the easiest size to transition into. I did use the A5 size for a little bit, um, but I found what really looks works for me, like in my catch-all, is the personal size. This is enough writing room for me. Um, I don't really write big, so, and I don't really write too small either. I just kind of write, write like medium size, but this is like enough for me. Whereas the pocket size, I think they're adorable, but... I am like scared of them <laughs> because they're just so tiny, but they are really, really cute. Um, so that might work for you if maybe you need something that's even more portable. Like for example, the A5 size would be a little bit too big maybe if you're carrying it, um, you know, if you want it to be your catch-all, if you want everything in it, unless you're just going from, you know, home to work or home to school, then maybe it might work. Um, but for me, I liked that I, I wanted something where if I went to the store, I could even take it in like I could just take it everywhere I went. And so that's why I like the personal size. It fits in mostly all of my bags. So I don't really have a problem with that. Um, it's very portable. I'm a person that I like to take my planner everywhere. So the the personal size works for me. If you, you know, just go from point A to point B and you just need your planner just goes from your desk to your bag to another desk, then this is probably better for you. Um, and then pocket size, if you want something that's even like, you know, really portable, like it would fit in any size bag that you had. So those are just some of the sizes. Um, these are the three most popular, I would say. There are other sizes like B6, A6, A4, just to like simplify it. I didn't want to confuse you guys too much. Um, I just chose the three, like, basically the most popular sizes that I've seen in the planner, in the ring binding planner community. So that is the A5, the personal, and the pocket size. So now I want to talk about where um, you can buy any of these planners. So I purchased my original Filofax on Amazon, and I actually bought it. There's an option on Amazon where you can um, buy like used. So I bought the used, it was like $30 off. And when I got it, it was actually like packaged like new. So probably somebody just like bought it and then returned it. And then it was like used, but it was in, you know, um, titled really good condition. So I, I had, I bought it like at a discount, um, but you can also buy it new. And like I said, mine like came absolutely new. There wasn't anything wrong with it. So I would recommend Amazon for Filofax. And the only problem I had with Filofax is that I tend to overstuff my planner. So the rings are coming apart just a tiny bit. I'll show you right here. So I might be replacing the rings soon because it is kind of just like a hassle to turn the pages. Um, it's not too, too big of a deal, but I have seen that you can replace the rings, so I might be doing that. I love Filofax because they're genuine leather, so they will really last a long time. 
here's what it looks like right here. And then there's different styles too. Um, so I believe this is just the personal patent, something like that, patent organizer. And then, so this one's from Amazon. This A5, and they also sell the size A5. Um, this one's from Cloth and Paper. It came in a subscription box and I did a video about that. I can link it down below for you if you wanna see me unbox this one. And then for the, um, the blue Kiki, Kiki K, I always have a hard time saying that, Kiki K. <laughs> I bought this one also on Amazon. It was on sale. I think I paid like 30 something. And the file effects was probably like 50, 60 something. But um, I do love this one. It's kind of a mess right now. I haven't really touched it in a long while. But um, these, I don't think they are genuine leather. These are like a vegan leather, but also they feel really nice. And I just love the color. It's so pretty. Um, so that one's also an Amazon buy. And then the black Kiki K is from Poshmark. So you can actually, and it was brand new. It had like the notepads, you know, in the front and back. And it had like all of the wrapping. And I even got a cute little card from the Posher. So you can also buy off of Poshmark and Mercari. Um, if I'm saying that right, Mercari, Mercari. <laughs> So they have sometimes new or like gently used um, planning binders that you can buy. And so this one right now, I actually bought this little insert from Michaels and it's kind of old. Like you can see it's kind of fading a little bit. Um, I had it when I got my very first planner, which was from Michaels and it was pretty budget friendly. I wanted to just try the ring binder planning system first so I actually bought um, a set a little black one it looked a lot like this one at Michael's um, unfortunately I don't have it anymore it didn't really last that long because like I said I carry them everywhere so that's why I do love the Filofax because it's like very durable um, and so right now I'm just using this black Kiki K that I purchased in December I'm just using it basically to like put like after I finish um, anything in here, just so it doesn't get chunky, I'm just transferring like from January and all the months. So then hopefully at the, by the end of the year, I can just flip through this one and kind of look back at my whole year. So yeah, that is an intro to the ring, ring binder planning system <laughs> or rings agenda system. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. And I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you use um, a ring binder system or any other planning system that you like to use. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and please stay safe.